Ice Grip Garage. Today is day five of Sick Week 2024, and the last day of Jessica and is it mine or ours? No, ours vacations. Vacation. We are headed from Daytona Beach to Orlando Speed World once again. And today we're we're looking for aids. We're gonna put this truck on a diet. We're gonna run straight race fuel. We're gonna do a couple other things. Uh, Doug Cook's coming down. We're gonna get the laptop out. I've already created a Sasquatch tune version two. We're also turning the timing up on Liberty. We're gonna put some race fuel in that as well. We are gonna go for an absolute personal best today, and it's gonna be a ton of fun. First, 70 miles to Orlando. Got the legend, Keith Dirk, <laughs> putting us in quarantine here. Well, it's only because you're sketchy. There you go. <laughs> if you weren't sketchy, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> sketchy. Notice how you took the time to put it on straight. I appreciate that. Did you see this sticker? Yeah, I know. True that. Hey, you get, a, you get a little add to this, right? You get a little I Survive sticker or a Fail Rest in Peace. That's right. And I don't care. <laughs> Jimmy Craig Corn. Which either one? It, yeah. Jimmy Craig Corn matters not to me. So we made it. This is the big show. Everybody here went, I don't know how many hundreds of miles. This is the front up here. All these guys um, are, well, they're professionals. They're the real deal. They're 850 or faster or top three. We're sketchy, that's why we're here. But we're gonna load and get to work. Uh, congrats to everybody that made it. If you ran Sick Week or Sick Ward, for that matter. Sick Ward is like power tour, basically. You just travel around five cities, five days, get to watch the racing. 
Well, we're all here, gonna get unloaded. We got separated from uh, Chad, not this Chad or the other Chad, or Chad. Uh, and Brian, they're gonna do some beach photos this morning and we decided to just get to the track because we are gonna be going after eights today in the OBS. And that's gonna take some serious work. I think I'm gonna change the oil again. We're gonna drop weight, tailgate, bumper, maybe bumpers. We gotta thinking about dropping the exhaust off, maybe a passenger seat, I don't know. But it's, a, it's known, or believed to be, every 100 pounds is a tenth. So we need like 220, 230 pounds out of this truck, and it's gonna take that kind of diet and a little bit of a tune to get this thing to an 899. That's the big goal today, so see what happens. Go to the end. Okay. Let it down. began up under the rig here obviously just wanted to show you this has got a diaper on which is just you know common sense when you get into the higher horsepower stuff so if anything scatters through the oil pan or the block you're catching most of the oil and debris instead of putting it on the track but anyway here's the drain plug so the hardest part is getting these straps there's one way up there, way up here, and then on the side, got to get all that pulled back so you can drain the oil. And there's the little two T25s on the starter that was backing out, and that was causing our starter issues. The flywheel doesn't look terrible. It does have a couple chewed up teeth, but not horrible. I guess it's happened before and they had to tighten it up. Those clocking starters, great idea, poorly executed, basically. So I'm gonna get the pan under here, drain the soil again, get some fresh stuff. So you probably just heard Liberty start. Chad is running into town to get more sparkulators. He's gonna do a plug swap today. We got just a tiny, tiny bit of fur, but the oil looks good. That's extremely normal. Nothing to be concerned about. We're also gonna change the fuel filter today. Uh, Jessica's gonna help me drain the fuel tank. We're just gonna use the fuel pump that's there and pump it into a pail. We're gonna go straight race fuel MS100 so we can add more timing, higher octane, you can run more timing. Then I'm just staring at this beautiful exhaust system trying to think if I want to tear all that out because we've got to put it all back in late, late tonight. So, I don't know. So I'm taking the fuel filter off here this morning. Motion makes this really cool two, or one in the two. So one in, two out. Really simplifies the fuel system. And there's a canister in there. Just a good idea to do with fresh builds, new tanks, new lines, things like that. Uh, gotta change that out, make sure we got all the fuel flow, and I need to disconnect that line anyway because we're gonna be putting the pump gas into this guy. I sent a picture of this in front of the motor to the owners of Motion Raceworks. I thought they might get a kick out of that. I think old uh, Derek's running methanol. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably like, well, oh, there goes the motor. Yeah, all gone. <laughs> but uh, no, we're just doing our best. We appreciate them letting us use the truck. We're doing our best to make it keep up on things and we don't want something silly and dumb to happen and lose this beautiful engine. Plus we're trying to go fast. So we're draining the pump gas out of this to go to 100. We could do like MS 109 or even a little bit of Q and mix that in but I just don't want to hurt this motor. So 100 it is and but I want straight 100. So we're, we're I'm jumping the fuel pump right now in the fuse panel here and just pumping straight into that. And uh, we're gonna fill the, fill up two pails and then we'll dump in the race fuel. So I'm just jumping from the power lug to our fuel pump directly with this wire and that'll run the pump. Don't know if I could do this one-handed. There we go. And we'll fill that pail. So this is the filter here. And I've got these neat little cartridges that just slide up in it. So I'm gonna put a fresh one in, fresh seal, 
connect all the hoses. We've got it completely drained, had about seven gallons in it, a little more than I was planning, but that's all right. And then we'll fill it up with 10 gallons of 100 here in a minute. Okay, we got uh, both sets of mufflers off. We still have one set turned down. So a little bit of pipe because it's got the O2 sensor in it. We need that. We need some pipe after it so that reads accurately. Tailgate off, but we're out of time. I don't think I'm gonna get the bumpers. Uh, a group is up right now, B group's next. I gotta get this fuel a bit sooner because we're running out of time. We'll see what it does. Hopefully it doesn't affect my downforce taking the wing and the tailgate off because that can get awfully sketchy. So. stuff all over my face. I tried Jessica. telling you earlier, I was trying to wipe it out. Got my face pinned against the frame pretty much the whole time. I got in such a rush there, I gotta be honest, the guy got flabbergasted. I forgot to put the Sasquatch version 2 tune in, uh, but we'll, um, we'll make this lap, see what happens, get back to pits, and then we will let this cool down a tickle. Yeah. And hopefully Doug stops by and takes a look at it first and, you know, and then uh, we'll load that up and go again. Uh, is it likely we're gonna hit at 899? I don't know. This is like a half court basket goal, or puck hoop, what are they called? Anyway, where you shoot half the half the tennis court or whatever. So I hope it would just be absolutely crazy if we could do that in this truck. That would just be a fun way to put an exclamation point on it. But let's go have fun. That's the biggest thing. We ain't gonna move up a place. We ain't gonna go down a place. The leader in this group has like a 940 cubic inch sunny racing motor that's made of belay that's five feet wide. Did you see that thing yesterday? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Wow. So um, he ran like a 771 this morning or something like that. It's pretty slow. Yeah. So. Okay. slip in so we haven't officially haven't officially finished sick week is what I'm trying to say but the words just ain't coming out of my mouth correct so time to get the laptop out plug into this thing and uh, see if we can get this launch under control and then we'll still you know pour the coals to her we're just gonna do it you know at the 300 on or something but Wow, did not expect that. The reason it quit is it spun. I tried, I got out of it, got back into it again, and then uh, we hit the soft limiter, which made it go lean, and then it wasn't happy. So, truck's okay, motor's okay, everything like that. Just uh, this is part of the part of the game. You got to figure these machines out. You got to listen to them. You got to figure out what they need, and that's about what we're to do. Got a built-in tuning table on these OBSs here. See this? pretty fancy so we're going down a little bit on the trans brake I'm actually gonna go up on the rev limiter and the reason for that is uh, well safety I know that sounds weird but here's the thing now that we're adding more fuel and more timing things are getting a little spicier I don't want to be bouncing off a limiter that's more harmful actually than just free revving or just paying attention to what's going on if I let off 15 20 feet before the boards I'm never going to hit 7700 rpm so it's just safer uh, and won't be clipping anything. And um, added a little fuel, a little timing, 
Uh, we're only up to 35.4, which who cares about the 0.4? That doesn't make any sense, which is still really conservative for a big block. Liberty's over there running 38, 39 degrees. Uh, so, but it's not my engine, it's not my truck, you know what I mean? Now, we're gonna do the rest of the tuning with shocks. Yep. I think if we make a shock adjustment, talk to Doug, he agreed that guy's insanely fast. With his, well, the whole Cook family is. So, we're gonna make some adjustments to the shocks and tire pressure, try to go make a hit. Hopefully we can get something we could turn in, and then we can start even more aggressively. In the truck here, uh, adjusted the shocks. Um, ooh, we need to make an adjustment on tire pressure, Jessica. Okay. And then um, I actually, big thank you to Alex Taylor. She made a, a good laugh and I went over and talked with her, had her help me on my fuel table a little bit. It was looking like Lego blocks, I'm going to be <laughs> honest. And uh, she taught me some right arrow, up arrow, control Z's, column row stuff. Sure. But a uh, big thank you for her taking the time to do that. Um, I don't know, we just gotta get this to stick and go down and then the fun can start. So the pressure's on, I need a slip of paper so we can finish sick week. Let's go get her done. All right, we just need the truck to stick. If it sticks, it's gonna do its thing. I feel kind of bad, Motion Raceworks had this thing dialed the way it was. And then I kind of made things wonky by taking all this weight out of it, but. We'll get her figured. We're running the same exact fuel on the upper end as yesterday, so I don't know. We got her to leave though. See if we can get up the fire and look at oil pressure. So what we're doing here is pulling a log off of the rig here. And we're gonna move that over to a USB stick. And then we can load that into here and actually see what in the world is going on. Summit's closed, nobody has what we need. Feller walks up, fan, and says, hey, I'm the regional manager for O'Reilly. And I says, do you think OO Riley could be OO Amazing and help me get sparkulators? Picks up the phone, boom, got eight of them. And I have a commercial account, which will deliver. So I got eight sparkulators coming to the truck that are gonna go on our account we're buying and we'll be able to put in the truck. We need them, these are fouled. We're gonna do some of this basic stuff until I can figure out this data log. Looks like we might be running rich, uh, but it's hard to say because we did a 75 mile drive on these. So I'm not sure if it was a cruising or if it was a pass because one pass really wouldn't leave much of a pattern on a plug. So 
We're gonna try to go the other way with fresh ones, pull 1% fuel out. Got them all the way? Man, that's amazing, look at that. Big thanks to O'Reilly. Fresh sparkulators going in. We didn't even have to leave the track, which is really nice because we have to get everything to switch back over. You know, just what a creative chaos. So, get these popped in, and then I gotta go ask somebody that knows how to drag race when we should go up next. And um, I heard the track is going away, it's getting worse, it's getting really beat up. So, I don't know if they're gonna lay any more glue down or what the plan is as far as the track goes. I kind of like the best shot. We're running out of chances to make the pass, so we want the best shot. I don't want to go up there just willy nilly, you know. And, uh, they're not really putting a bunch of glue down or something. I don't know how it works. You, you're picking up what I'm putting inside. It's good. Thanks, bye. getting ready to rip here uh, they're doing a little bit of track prep because in front of me is the overall leader of the whole entire event so they're trying to make sure to give him a fair shot obviously he's he's a lot faster has a lot more horsepower so we're kind of just waiting right now and uh, they're gonna run him single or solo just so he, you know I don't want to distract him I actually requested that I said hey if, if he wants to run solo and the tower is okay with it let him do that we're gonna go out, um, added timing, added fuel, or excuse me, added timing, leaned it out, took away fuel, and we went way down on the trans brake because let's face it, we just need to get down the track. And I've got it low enough, we'll let the converter flash and we'll just have to see if this thing's gonna dig out of the hole. And uh, I mean, honestly, I think we're probably gonna run a 1230s. That's just my personal opinion, but. I just need a piece of paper that I could turn in that doesn't say 97 on it at this point. got a ticket we could turn in but before we do the lanes are closing pretty soon we got one more race that I know you guys want to see the OBS verse now what you think well wait a minute that's running 10 sevens this is running 19 twos well here's the catch we're gonna kind of do it a little bit old school we're gonna let Chad get the drop take the hit so we'll still use the tree to stage us but I'm not going to go until I see Chad going. So that should give him a second, at minimum, head start. And then uh, I'm going to try to run him down the track. And if all goes well, we should cross the boards pretty dang close to the same time. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. If we keep our reaction time under a second, we'll see, if, we'll see what happens. I got a good ticket. Uh, we can actually turn those in if we happen to run a really good time. But this is more for fun than anything at this point. We still have so much work to do tonight, packing all of our gear up, getting the car on the trailer, and switching trucks on the trailers and all this stuff. So 
we're just trying to milk it, get everything we can out of this experience. So we're going to load up, go up to the staging lanes one more time, see if we can do our last hit of sick week 2024. Okay, I think we're able to make this happen. We waited for a long time, let I think three whole uh, rows go so everybody can get a turn before we come and do this. Not only did you win, you ran the personal best. No. 11.50. Oh, I'm an idiot, never mind. <laughs> God dang it. Well, that did, it was a lot of fun, but that did not go as planned. Uh, Chad's tram brake failed, and uh, so he didn't get to stall up and get on the converter. And, uh, well, I blew the tires off. I kicked up the trans brake because we had such a good track, and then we ended up waiting and letting everybody else go so they could get laps in. Well, the sun went down, track changed. I knew I was in trouble, but I thought if I could spin, I could at least chase him down, but I got too high on the RPM. I got out of it right away and it just quit. So we pulled over, got it fired up, went down. Still a lot of fun. Hey, technically he won. You know what I mean? In old Liberty. That's gonna do it for sick week 2024. We're gonna start the packing process. This goes in the tray more. I start heading back to Tennessee. This truck's going on a trailer with the Moshe guys. They're taking that back down to Florida. If you guys want to see more of this truck, Motion Raceworks also has a YouTube channel. You guys can check them out. And huge thank you to those guys for letting me go out and thrash on this thing all week. They're really good people. They built a really solid truck. They've got obviously a lot of awesome parts on it. Thanks to Chad, Chad, Haley, Jessica, Brian, Michelle, all my friends for coming out and hanging out. Alex for tuning, Paul, Pow for helping me understand stuff. Holly, Mickey Thompson, all the people that made this possible. Last but not least, all of you for your support. I hope you enjoyed coming along for our vacation. We had an absolute blast. We will undoubtedly be back next year. But I'm thinking something like Monte Barrow and maybe Boost. Thanks guys, see you soon.